Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see here, I have finished the aggressor part of my third company salamanders, the pyrocast led by Adrax Agatone here. Um, I did give the, uh, basically my build of this model uh, in part one and part two. So this is what it looks like finished. Now I finished up it's taking a long time. I have uh, a lot of things happening right now, so it's taking a little bit longer than I expected. But you have the uh, unit of aggressors that I'm adding into this. Um, you can see how they turn out pretty nice. At least I think so. Obviously, I'm partial because I did them. So, uh, but basically, you have the same units with, with the wa green, then followed up um, by the same greens that I was using in. The Agatone, if you want to check out the way I did the, the green armor, uh, you can check out the Agatone videos and it shows you how I did it. Um, we have the the orange uh, orange uh, salamander, I should say, on the shoulder pad that will, and the black shoulder pads that do go with the third company. Um, I like the, why don't you, sh with all my models, and you've seen on some of my Space Wolf models, you, I put in the snow bases. For Fenris, uh, I put on the bases for uh, Nocturne. So I just wanted to make sure that uh, it looks like a volcano world and was able to do some of this, uh, making that look like it's basically rock on a volcano. I did equip them. Obviously, they're salamanders. I did equip them with the Flamestorm Gauntlets, uh, which are pretty pretty good. And we'll get into a little bit more on that. I do want to give a little bit of a unit focus on these guys um, because they do do some they do do some work, man. If you can get them close. So basically, what we have here is if with a bunch of strats, you can make these guys. I mean, they can be very devastating. So just to kind of run through it. As you all right, so let's go over some of the uh, some of the stats and stuff from the Space Marine book. I'm using the Space Marine book. I'm using the aggressors. Um, as you can see on the card, they get a three inch ballistic skill, a three inch. I'm sorry, a three up ballistic skill, three up weapon skill, strength four, toughness five, wounds three, three attacks, seven leadership, uh, plus three save. Uh, and one extra attack for the sergeant and uh, extra leadership for the for the sergeant as well now with this unit I'm going to only talk about uh, Units of the unit that contains three you can obviously go up to six with this and you can do the math as we stack this um, Equipped with the flame storms gauntlet. So we're going to use that which is not have an eight inch range It's assault 2d6 uh, strength 4 no AP, one damage. Um, it auto hits, which is tremendous in this particular case. Also has the angel of death keyword. Also has combat squads, uh, which can go up to uh, like six units, and then they can split up into three. Has the firestorm, which is you can fire um, one unit fires Overwatch and is chosen to shoot with models, and the unit can shoot twice if it does not move on this turn. And reckless advance, which models. In this unit do not suffer a penalty for advancing and firing assault weapons which we know if you play aggressors is pretty nice um, but here's what we're going to get kind of break this down a little bit better uh, so again i'm only looking at a unit of three so if you want to do the math you can do this do this accordingly so basically you're going to take your three aggressors and you're going to move them into into range Right, so you're going to move them into range. Then after you get them into range, what you're going to do is you're going to spend one CP and you're going to pop a strat called Reckless Determination. This, uh, use this strat at the end of your movement phase. Select one Salamander unit from your army that did not advance this phase. So it's important that you don't advance your aggressor. So you move them to five inches. Hopefully it gets in range in five inches. Until the start of your next movement phase. That unit is treated as if having remaining stationary during its movement phase in all rule, for all rules purposes, such as fire and heavy weapons. In addition, and the aggressors don't have a damage table, so we're not going to go into the damage table. So here's what you just did. 
you moved your aggressors, you moved them up and hopefully got in within eight inches. And then if you go back, you remember that they can, uh, they, this, this unit can shoot twice based on firestorm. It can shoot twice, right? So now you have a unit that did move to get in it. Hopefully is in range to get within the eight inches to get to hit their flamers. And then you just reset them with that strat. And now what you're going to do in the beginning of your shooting phase, actually it doesn't have to be even in the beginning of your shooting phase, it's just when you get to this unit and you want to shoot, you want to pop another strat that for 2CP that's called Flamecraft. And the strat is, if you use this strat, uh, stratagem in your shooting phase, when a model, I'm sorry, when a Salamander's unit from your army is chosen to shoot, until the end of the phase, when a model in the unit shoots with a flame, with a flame weapon, do not roll to determine the number of attacks made with this weapon. Instead, the maximum number of attacks that are made with this weapon um, is it's used the maximum number of attacks. So, with the flamer, right? You have flame, your flame storm gauntlets. You are using them. If you pop that strat, you are using now the max amount, maximum amount of attacks for that unit. So you have a two d six. That is two. That now becomes twelve. So you have uh, because they're obviously both sixes. So now it's twelve. They shoot now twice. So now it is twenty four shots. Because remember we popped the strat that makes them stationary. So it's twenty four shots per guy. So with now if you do the math, you have a unit of three, twenty four shots per guy. That's seventy two shots. For a unit of three aggressors with their flame with their flame storm gauntlets, and then we're not done there. We're going to actually hit another strat called the fire of the of battle, and this strat is used in the shooting phase or in the opponent's charge phase when a salamander when a salamander's model from your unit with a flamer or a melta weapon until the end of the to the end of that phase when resolving an attack made with this weapon. And on an unmodified roll of four, the target suffers one mortal wound in addition to any other wounds. So for another CP, you pop that strat. Um, that has actually been FAQ'd. It is at, actually at a maximum of three per phase. So you can, when you use that, F, when, it, when you get so many shots, you're going to max that out, right? Because you have 24 shots per model. So you're it's you're going to easily roll more than, more than three fours. So you can get... So you can get three mortal wounds on a unit pretty stinking easily. So that's another strat, strat you can pop. And then here's one more for you during this whole same phase. What well, now we want to do is pop another strat for now. This isn't one CP called Crucible of Battle. Okay, use this strat in your shooting phase or your fight phase when a Salamander unit from your army is chosen to shoot or to fight until the end of the fight phase when resolving an attack made by the, by a model. In the unit, add one to your wound rolls. So, guys, now listen to what we have so far. We have a unit of three three aggressors, just three aggressors, having 72 shots. We didn't even talk about the fact that he actually has uh, the missile launchers or, or the grenade launchers at the top of his head that he has. The auto, auto storm, uh, no, the, uh, um, the uh, frag storm grenade launchers are on the top of his head. We didn't even talk about that. Okay, so that's an addition to this. So you have 72 shots all, all hitting because they're auto hits because they're flamers, right? So we auto hits on that. We're one of we're gonna do we're gonna do three mortal wounds pretty simply. Plus, if you're going against a horde, you're gonna get plus on the wound. So let's say it's a, you're going against a strength strength four, or you're going against a squad of marines and a strength four toughness four. Now you're adding one to your wound roll. So now you're not now you're not wounding on fours but you're wounding on threes on 72 shots again now you add if you add another three aggressors into that mix we're just now we just doubled everything so for let's see we have four four five strats you're pretty much wiping out anything you want to if, if for five cp if you want to go that in depth on it um Again, if you just if you don't want to use reckless determination, it's up to you. It's just a combination. Going up against something big or going up against a tank. Delivery system, you still I mean you still have to get close. So the delivery system, maybe put them in a in a in a repulsor to get them up close, run them up the field. 
S actually two in a tactical doctrine, and on your second turn, they will get. On your sec on your tactical doctrine, they will get um, a minus one AP. So that's even better because now you have um, seventy two shots hitting on um, all auto hitting actually. Then you have plus one to wound, plus the, on your, on the roll. Then you have a minus one AP. So I mean that, that's pretty that's pretty good. I haven't had a chance to test it out. You guys can test it out for me if you like. I just haven't had a chance to play um, with my salamanders. I don't have enough to put any, I haven't. I don't have enough to put anything on the board yet. Uh, still in the process of building it. Just happened to come across some of this stuff. Thought it was pretty cool and wanted to share it with everybody. If you have any questions or, or I missed something on an FAQ or or something you guys actually uh, want to add into that, please leave the comment down below. And again, thank you for tuning in. And God bless and peace out.